the new uh, 2010 Nightmare on Elm Street. Really good. Uh, me and him saw this in the theater the day it came yeah, out. With my brother. Yeah. Uh, April April 1st was it? Or April 30th. April 30th, yeah. Yeah, it was about a year ago, I think. Yeah, almost a year ago. Um, it's a remake of the original one. Uh, it has almost all the characters that were in there, but uh, more of a background of Freddy. Yeah, that's what I like about this film. It actually tells you the origin of Freddy. Yeah. While the, in the original, it didn't really tell you everything. It gave you bits and pieces throughout the movies and kind of that little campfire story stuff. But this one actually shows the flesh burning away as he's running towards the camera. And that was really, really good for me. I, I thought it was really good. Yeah. But uh, some of the downside of this movie, like, the killing is just, it's slashing. Yeah, I mean, I don't like the killing. I really don't. Like, I, it's a good movie. It looks realistic. Uh, it's a brand new movie. It's modern. But the killing is not as original as the original number. I'm sure. They took away the, the creativeness yes. of, of the of death West, scenes. The creativeness of Wes Craven was taken away. Yeah, the creativeness. And Freddy, he's not his joking self. He's, he's, a, he's, he's more serious. Yeah, he's serious. Yeah, he makes these sarcastic like jokes and kind of creepy, really. You know, I like Jack Earl Haley. I think he did a wonderful job with the new Freddy. But you know, Robert England did the funny one, and pretty much Jack Earl Haley did the modern, realistic, you know, serious one. I think he did. I didn't think he did a bad job. He did a good job with the new Freddy. But Robert England was, he was good too. You know, he was he made it funny. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Better move on because yeah, I get in that time.